for every soft plastic, in this case this is more of a bait fish soft plastic, you want to try and imitate what the natural movements of that bait fish are. In this case, the tail like of a, of a live bait fish twitches a lot. It zigzags the, the bait fish when he's swimming. And especially when he's nervous, he's going to go in an erratic pattern. So I'm trying to do that with a wrist action. Um, now with the shrimp bait, I want that bait to hop up and down. That resembles the shrimp being scared uh, out of the bottom. Its first natural instinct is to just go straight up into the air. It is a ladyfish. I got him. <laughs> All right, well, we're on the board. We got the skunk <laughs> off. We'll get you another bait. So whatever bait it is you're, you're using, you want it to resemble the actual bait that's natural in the water. So a shrimp that's an up and down retrieve or a straight slow retrieve, like a swimming shrimp. Um, if you're using a jig head with a, with a gulp on it, with a shrimp on it, you, you, you're going to want to make that bait fish or, or shrimp hop up and down. Uh, with this one here, it's more like a, a pilchard or a, a, a finger mullet. That one we're going to work it in a, an erratic retrieve where it's a little bit of wrist action. I want that bait to, to just kind of zigzag. Um, and that's what's going to get that fish's attention. 